I am going to demonstrate HCG. HCG is prescribed by your physician for the final preparation of the egg and ovulation. Your medication may be called Pregnil, Novarel, or human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, whichever one your pharmacy dispenses. They are all mixed the same way. To prepare for your injection, you're gonna to wanna to wash and dry your hands and prepare a clean, dry site. You will have your box of medication, a three mil syringe with a mixing needle, an injecting needle, alcohol swabs, and your biohazard kit. In your box of medication is gonna be a vial of liquid and a vial of powder, which is the medication. I am demonstrating Pregnil, but as I said, your medication may be Novarel or HCG. To prepare your Pregnil vials, you're gonna pop off the blue caps, which is gonna expose the rubber stoppers. You will wipe the rubber stoppers with an alcohol swab. And now I'm going to demonstrate the mixing of the 1,000 unit dose. Your doctor will determine the appropriate dose for you and your nurse will discuss that with you. You will take your three mil syringe, which should have a mixing needle attached. If it does not, they just screw on easily. You'll pull off the cap, exposing the needle, which is very large, but it's not going to touch you. You'll pull down on the plunger with three mils of air into your syringe. You're going to take that amount of air and inject it into the vial that has the liquid in it. That adds pressure, making it easier to get the liquid out. So now you will just pull down on the plunger and you wanna pull a full syringe of liquid, which is three mils. You'll pull until the black stopper is all the way at the three. Turn your vial over and inject the three mils of liquid into the powder. You may have to sw gently swirl the vial. You don't want to pull anything out of there yet. Just take the needle out and now you're going to need to go back to your liquid vial, inject two more mils of air, and inject it into the vial that has the liquid in it. Turn it over to pull two mils of liquid. So now we've got a total of five mils of liquid that we are injecting in with the medication powder. Again, if you see particles, gently swirl. To pull out the 1,000 unit dose, you're gonna turn the vial over, pull down so the tip of the needle is in the liquid, pull down on the plunger, until the top of the black stopper is at the one half. So you only need to pull out one half mil of the mixed medication. And that is equivalent to the 1,000 unit dose. Turn your vial over, pull your needle out. The rest of the mixed medication you can put in your refrigerator. Slide the needle into the cover. Unscrew it from the syringe and now you're going to put on your injecting needle. And place your injecting needle on. It's still an inch and a half long to get to the muscle, but it is much thinner than the mixing needle. So once your medication is mixed and the injecting needle is on, you will likely need someone other than yourself to administer the injection. The injection site is the upper outer buttock, so you do not want to go in too far or down too far on the buttock. You want to stay in the upper outer quadrant. You will prepare the area with an alcohol swab. Let the alcohol dry. Carefully uncap your needle. You want to take the area that you've prepared and spread the tissue with your thumb and forefinger. And then you're going to put the needle in with a quick dart-like motion. The needle does have to go all the way into the hub. And once it's all the way inserted, you will stabilize the syringe with your non-dominant hand. 
and push on the plunger to inject the medication. Once the medication is fully injected, you'll just pull straight out. You'll discard the used needle and syringe. You can go ahead and gently massage the tissue um, to allow the medication to disperse out of the muscle to prevent tenderness.